So the first thing you need to learn when you're learning electrodynamics is you really need to master multivariable calculus, vectors, and all that fun stuff. Um, so when we talk about vectors, we talk in relation, this is a bad pen, I don't like this one. Let's get a good pen. There we go. So regular numbers that you've learned ever since the beginning of grade school, we call those scalars. Okay, these are numbers like 1, 2, 7, minus 5, 3 halves. Uh, 0 is another scalar. And of course the reals like pi and the square root of 2. So with regular numbers, you can describe things like mass. You can describe time. You can describe one-dimensional positions, like where you are on a line, or you know a, a curve as well. But um, and you can also describe charge, and you can count things. Where these fall down is when you're trying to talk about um, you know motion, movement, um, directions. Um, scalars just don't have that direction component. So we have to master the concept of the vector. Um, and what is a vector? Well, a vector, and unfortunately many of you learned it the wrong way. You learned about the component form first. You know, a vector isn't just three numbers. It's anything but. A vector is a length and a direction. So what are some things in real life that are vectors? Well, displacements, you know. Um, if you walk 100 meters north, that's a vector. Um, if, you're, if you want to find how far it is from the Earth to the Sun, that's a vector um, because it's a length and a direction. So uh, we, sometimes we call the length a magnitude as well. So vectors in the book are represented with bold letters, usually capital letters. Um, it's really hard to write bold letters, of course, with your handwriting, so we just use uh, any letter with an arrow on the top. When we describe the length, um, we can write bars um, around the vector, or we can just write the letter, you know, not bold. Um, that's the length. The direction is, um, well, I'll write it this way, a hat. And that's, that's basically a unit vector, a vector of unit length, meaning its length is one, um, pointing in the same direction as the a vector. And over here for this one, you'd probably see it as a hat in the book. Um, what do vectors look like? Um, well, it, it's kind of hard to describe what they look like. Um, we, on the piece of paper, you know, you can draw an arrow. Um, the length is important. The direction is important. It doesn't matter where the arrow is on the page. It's the same vector as long as it has the same length and same direction. Um, just like a three in, in one corner of the page is the same as a three in the other corner of the page, or the three halfway across the universe. Um, the, the vectors don't uh, change based on where they are. Um, if you have a different direction, but the same length, it's a different vector. If you have same direction, but a different length, like longer or shorter, it is yet a different vector. Um, so, Vectors do not have a location, so we're going to write location here and cross it off because vectors do not have a location. That's a pretty important concept to know. So with scalars, we can add, we can subtract, we can multiply, we can divide. Um, and as you probably learned through algebra, that adding and subtracting is really just adding, and subtracting is adding the negative. And multiplying and dividing is really just multiplying, with dividing is um, multiplying by a fraction. So there's really two operations that you can do with scalars. There's addition and there's multiplication. Vectors behave um, similarly. You can add vectors. You can also do something called a scalar product. That's when you multiply a vector by a scalar. And there's two ways to multiply vectors by themselves. There's the dot product and there's the cross product. So there's, there's addition and there's three different ways of multiplying vectors to, uh, with, with, different, um, with different numbers. Uh, 